Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1503. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to do something relatively simple. Look up a cell address. And we're going to see these four examples. If we go over to the sheet 1503, I want to be able to look up any particular name. So if I select FAM, I want it to return the cell reference B9. Now, there's a few ways we could do this. And a quick and easy way, if this column is always going to be in B, I can make a text formula equals. And in double quotes, I'm going to put B. That's the column reference. And I'm going to join it to. And now I need the row number based on that lookup value. Well, I can find the relative position of FAM in this column by using the match function. Lookup value, I need to look up FAM. Comma. And now I'm going to do something that I very rarely do. For the lookup array, I'm going to select the entire column. Now, sometimes entire column formulas can get you into trouble, especially if you start putting data below. But for this example, we're going to assume we're just going to build this linearly. So that's the entire lookup array. Comma, and we're looking for exact match, so I put a 0, close parentheses. And surprisingly enough, that short formula when I hit Enter will totally work. If I change this to Tyrone, instantly I get B5, because Tyrone's in B5. Now, the one drawback here, of course, is if I insert a column, then it's returning the wrong column letter, Control-Z, to undo that. Well, we can get around that by using a great function called address. Address requires a row number, a column number, and then you tell it what type of cell reference, relative, absolute, or one of the mix. So for the row number, we're going to do match again. I'm looking up this comma within the entire column, comma, 0, close parentheses. So in row number, that will work. Click here, comma, for column. It really doesn't matter where we select here, but I'm definitely going to use the column function and select some cell in this data range. To be super sure, I'm going to select the field name data. Column will, of course, return 2 because that's the second column. If I insert a column here, it will return 3 and so on, close parentheses, comma. And then we get to decide how we want this. I definitely want to put a 4 for relative. We're not going to need the last two arguments. Close parentheses, Control Enter, and that will work. If I want to insert a column, totally updates. Control Z. Again, I sometimes get nervous when we have the whole column reference, so I'm going to change this up a bit. Control C, Escape. Come down here, F2, and Control V. I'm going to highlight just the range inside our data set. So for chin, I really want row number 4. But what is match going to return? Match is going to return 1, 2. The relative position of chin in this list is 2. So all I'm going to do is add, and I'm going to use row of the field name, close parentheses. That way, whatever match delivers, in our case 2, because the field name is in B2, row will return 2. And that will work, Enter. Now if I insert a column, insert. You know, Control Z, I should have just used Alt I C for insert column. I like that. Alt I C for column and Alt I R for row because they're easy to memorize. Control Z. Now there's another silly way, and I wouldn't use this. This is just kind of for fun. Index, well, I'm going to try and use index to look up in that range. Comma, and I'm going to use the match function. I'm going to use the match function to try and look up Tyrone, comma. And so far, comma 0 for exact close parentheses, that is a lookup formula that will just return the actual item. So if I'm looking up Tyrone and it's returning Tyrone, what good is that? Well, guess what? As we saw in one of the last few videos, index, if you put it into the context of a cell reference, it won't return the item, but it will return the actual cell reference, B5. So watch this. I'm going to use the cell function. And the very first option is address. So comma, info type is address. 
there's the reference. Because that argument is expecting a cell reference, index will deliver not the content Tyrone, but the actual cell reference. Close parentheses and control enter. Now, of course, it returns that absolute, and I don't like that. That's kind of a silly one. I like one of the other three options better. And just as we did, I can't remember if it was last video or the video before, we can go up to formula, up to evaluate formula, and we can evaluate that index right there by clicking evaluate or enter, enter, and we see index is underlined, but when I hit enter, index is not delivering Tyrone. It's delivering the cell reference. That is so cool. Index really is an amazing, versatile function. Enter, and we get B5. All right, so that was a little fun with four different ways to look up an item but return the cell reference. Now, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. We'll see you next video. Thank <laughs> you.